Ah, bueno, profesor Canto, sí. eh, Cuántico, Ajá. tenemos que irnos rapidito. Yo, yo, Vamos yo, a leer rapidito yo, yo, la carta a Obama. Que Obama okay. eh, dirige a Venezuela. Yo quiero en inglés. Okay. En inglés, que si pasan esto por CNN, yo me voy a dirigir directamente al presidente de, de Estados Unidos. ¿Esta es la carta que va dirigida desde de eh, de, de Venezuela? No, esta es la que le está mandando Obama. Es a, la que firma Obama. Of Obama a Venezuela. A Venezuela. Okay. Y yo lo, la voy a leer y luego le voy a solicitar aclarándole ciertas cosas aquí en ah, Venezuela okay. de que por favor derogue ese el, decreto. Este decreto. Okay. Okay. Uh, this sir uh, Obama, President of the United States of America. This situation that I'm about to explain to you right now, dear sir, have to do really with uh, underlying facts that maybe you are not aware of this, just like Ronald Reagan was not aware when we're buying arms to the Sandinista and the Contras, and Ronald Reagan denied that because uh, he was not told by his peers and by the Senate uh, military um, personnel that uh, what was going on uh, back at, at that time. When, when he was questioned by the Senate, he denied saying that he didn't know about it. Okay, I believe that there could be the misunderstanding and the wrong information uh, being given to you by uh, this by, by the personnel in charge and in order for you to to have st stated this uh, publicly and uh, this decree to Venezuela we have the the following it says here mm, President Obama, the United States, find that the situation in Venezuela, including the government of Venezuela, erosion of human rights, guarantees, persecution of political opponents, curtailment, oppressed freedom, use of violence and human rights violation, and abuses in response to an anti-government protest, an arbitrary arrest and detention, anti-government pro protesters, as well as the exacerbating presence of significant public corruption constitute an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States. And I hereby declare a national emergency to deal with that threat. The order reads immediately. After Venezuelan foreign ministry announced the government of President Nicolás Maduro soon respond to Obama executive action against a Latin American country. We will soon make Venezuelan response to the extent and reach of this statement. Venezuelan foreign ministry, the late Rodriguez said in a news conference. You see, uh, President Obama, with all due respect, we have in this country that if there is something about the protest being done by government officials in this in this in this country, well, we have that the laws that that, are, that we abide by supposed to take care of that issues. And if there is something really that that you could find that is a violation, state what is the violation legally according to the uh, Constitution of Venezuela, the Bolivarian Constitution of, of Venezuela, and there, do it through public relations. The foreign, foreign minister, okay, uh, in Venezuela, for you, through diplomatic channels, to take care of that issue. But to say that, that there is a violation there, uh, I, um, I believe is, is a wrong position in, on your part on, on, uh, to, to have done this. I also know that uh, there is another ways how to deal with this, but you know I, I lived in the United States for 25 years, and I have known I, I lived there yes as an American, you know, and uh, so uh, to 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 have Venezuela to consider as a threat because of this supposed uh, violation of human rights, they, there's supposed to be evidence of that. If there is no evidence, then this decree doesn't fit uh, for you to send it you know, to us. Uh, therefore, I believe you should really, as uh, humanly possible, consider we are people, uh, peaceful 
persons here in Venezuela that do not want any war with your country or with any other country. Here we are developing a socialistic society, a, a system in which we're supposed to look and search for peace, love, economical issues where everybody can really sustain, have, em have employment, and, 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 and achieve success through their means of working and de developing this country. You know, so we, we, we do have great riches in petroleum, oil, mining, and, and, and many other things agriculturally. And, uh, but to consider that a change ideologi ideologically, uh, we do not believe that capitalism is the way, but uh, we do not supposed to be punished by that belief or ide ideology. If we consider a socialistic uh, system is better uh, in order to give hope for those people that uh, do not have the means to survive uh, and uh, are struggling and they, they have a better chance with socialism than with capitalism, uh, I, I believe that then you should uh, repeal and reject the decree that was issued against Venezuela government. Okay, uh, So, dear sir, with all due respect, really, please consider this. You are an Afro-descendant. Yeah. I know that you were raised by a family, a Caucasian family, and you are, but your father is from Africa. And we are here, your family, because you are from Africa. And we are Afro-descendant. Nosotros somos su familia, porque nosotros somos Afro-descendiente. Y usted es Afro-descendiente. Aunque fue criado por una familia blanca, que le dicen Caucasian, pero que este, siendo afrodescendiente, eh, nosotros somos parte de su familia, señor Obama. Entiendo que esa, esta situación de, de las personas que le dieron esa información, yo sé que ahí hay un cover-up, eh, eh, hay una, este, un ocultamiento de información que usted no sabe toda la verdad de lo que está pasando en Venezuela para decir que hay violaciones de los derechos humanos aquí. Eso eh, es lo que usted le dijo allí en inglés. Sí, y que considerara, y que considerara realmente que eh, nosotros somos un país de paz y que con ningún país, ni, ni Estados Unidos ni ningún otro país, nosotros este, estamos buscando guerra, jamás queremos esa guerra. Solamente estamos aquí y nos defendemos porque es nuestro deber como patriotas, ¿verdad?, estar en este país para defendernos. Pero entiendo que en su posición, representando grandes intereses de tantas personas multimillonarias de, que existen allí, entiendo que no es una posición fácil. It's not an easy task for you to be there, being among so many powerful people and organizations that that uh, have helped you through the government in order for, uh, and that do have in, uh, created interest uh, in their, in, in their uh, businesses and enterprises that you could, um, uh, I say, mm, reject. So abiding by their wishes and their ways of uh, manipulating things uh, it's, it's a big mistake. Uh, I consider uh, that. And, uh, but humanly possible, I believe you are a great president and that you will come through, sir, uh, successfully as you have helped so many people there, North American. I do have my children there. And I, I give you my, my trust in order to end this issue. Hopefully, this will get through CNN and you can see it. Uh, I don't know if it could be edited, uh, but uh, I would uh, say I would appreciate your help on this issue and accept my, if I say anything wrong, I accept, accept my apology. I want peace and love for all of us. Por aquí okay. no dice... Quiero paz y amor para todos nosotros. Así es, paz Gracias. y amor. Bueno, como nosotros somos objetivos, uh -huh. y esto va, este video va a rodar por todo el mundo a través de Twitter, uh -huh. eh, nosotros vamos a decir que los Estados Unidos dice uh -huh. que mi gobierno quiere dejar claro aquí, no estamos preparados, eh, no estamos preparando una intervención militar, no buscamos desestabilizar al gobierno venezolano con un golpe de Estado. 
no hay un componente extraterritorial de las sanciones, son legislación doméstica, afirmó ayer el representante de los Estados Unidos ante la OEA, Michael Fitzpatrick. El diplomático instó al organismo a pronunciarse ante las violaciones a los derechos humanos que aseguró se dan en Venezuela. ¿Usted cree, para finalizar, profe, y vamos a pasar el video, Ajá. ¿usted cree que, cree que en Venezuela se violan derechos humanos? Eh, no, solamente lo que existe realmente, yo creo que se ve ser más transparente con el proceso de, de, de las evidencias y mostrar, eh, fulanito hizo tal cosa, bueno, no están las evidencias, hay que tener esas transparencias, no decir fulanito, 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 tal cosa hicieron, no, yo creo mucho que eso es lo que enreda. El, el tema de la, de la justicia social o, de, o política legal, ilegal de, de Venezuela es cuando te acusan o te meten preso y, y no, no te muestran pruebas. Hay que tener pruebas. Y Estados Unidos y cualquier país que se diga, ustedes están violando los derechos humanos. Bueno, díganme dónde, en qué. O sea, muéstrenme las pruebas. Porque Ellos dicen es fácil que violar decir... los derechos humanos es porque el EMA está preso, porque lo puede... López está preso, Ajá. eso es lo que dicen ellos que se está violando los derechos humanos, bueno, sin darse cuenta que Ajá. estas personas están siendo investigadas, eh, privadas de libertad, uh -huh. ¿por qué? porque se ha considerado que estos opositores tienden a irse, abandonan el país y no eh, pernotan en nuestro país para que se haga la justicia, bueno. 